Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Today we'll talk about a stock split. A stock split is dividing the existing shares in different ratios according to the reduction of the face value. Too much to take? Let's step back and understand from the basics. The face value of the stock is the actual value of the stock decided at the time of issuance. With time, a stock may see an increase or decrease in its face value, and in case the face value is decreased, the existing share base is divided based on different ratios parameters leading to the concept of a stock split. When a stock split is introduced, it increases the number of shares in the secondary market, but the market capitalization remains the same. Basically, the issue of bonus shares, which increases the number of shares in the market, is not the same as the stock split. Now, what does this define? What does this mean? Theoretically speaking, a stock split is the subdivision of the existing shares into multiple shares. The idea is to spread a larger number of shares in the market to boost the liquidity of the stock. The overall valuation or market capitalization again will tell you, see, no change in the value of the stock. A simple and quick example would be that there is one share of a company at 100 rupees. After the stock split, let's say two for one, there would be two shares, each valued at 50. In both the cases, the valuation stays at 100. Why do companies do a stock split? A stock split is done by decreasing the face value of the share. The face value of the share is the value printed on the share like that of a rupee not. That is the base price of the stock. Now, previously, the face value of, let's say, a high value company like ACC and other companies used to be 100. Now, the normal face value is to be 10 only. Depending on the company's performance, the shares come public with premium to the face value. Now, there are a few reasons for that. The few reasons to perform a stock split would be trading of the public limited stock. Once some of the stocks that are bought by the public, including mutual funds, institutions like banks, HNIs and public, it starts trading in the exchange. If the performance of the company is extraordinary, the stock price is soar and constantly increase in the market. Then, ratio of the split in stock. According to the board of directors, the company's stocks are split in various ratios. It could be 2 to 1, it could decrease the face value from let's say 10 rupees to 5 rupees. That is, each shareholder with one share now has two shares. If the face value is reduced to 1 from 5, that it is a ratio of 5 to 1. Now, basically, we are giving away for every one share, the shareholder is going to get five shares. Let's finally understand this concept with the help of an example. Let's say Infosys. Its stock was listed in BSE on 14th June 1993 at 145 rupees against the issue price of 95 with a face value of 10 rupees. If somebody has bought 100 shares of Infosys at 95 or 145 amounting to an investment of 9500 or 14500 respectively at that time, now they will be holding 34,128 shares currently valued at 2.11 crore rupees with a current market price of 620 rupees. The stock split in 1999 was to bring the face value from 10 rupees to rupees 5 and the bonuses issued by the company in the latest timings has been in the ratio of 2 to 1. So basically a stock split is it good or bad? It depends the way you look at it. Of course the first impression you get of the stock split is that it's doing well in terms of some company expectation. It's a good thing. However, historically speaking, 80% of the companies that have done the stock split in the past 20 years have not seen any huge movement in the stock price or performance as compared to its peers. Thus, objectively speaking, it does not have much of an impact in the long run. So friends, this is pretty much it as far as stock split is concerned. Hopefully, you're able to understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.